guys welcome back to conversations um if you're new to my channel please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed um and welcome back to my day ones i really do appreciate your support the views the subscriptions like i'm so grateful guys um so today i wanted to talk about something that i myself have experienced something that i do continue to experience and i think a lot of women out there experience on a daily basis and i don't think that enough noise is made about it and I don't know, I was just a bit hesitant to film um, or to shoot um, because of everything that's been happening with um, hashtag Black Lives Matter and all the videos that have been coming out of how um, black people are still um, at the receiving end of racism. And I don't know, it's just been ugly. I've been watching a lot of videos and they have been very disturbing. But... Um, I decided that I'm not gonna put off putting out this video anymore so I'm just going to get into it right as I said um, I wanted to talk about sexual assault and there's a thread that I read on Twitter that just made me want to um, talk about this even more so yeah guys without wasting any time this read so this was like um, I think this was guys please do excuse my my black um, eyelash glue like it smashed and I couldn't do my cat eye so I was just like I have to carry on so yeah guys um, this was this somebody took a sc screenshot of this and it reads um, hi I hope my story will be heard um, this username recently used to work at the club and he invited me through Twitter DMs to come I was only 17, still in matric, and I thought to myself it won't be a bad experience as it was my first time. He spoke of how I'll get guest list and free entry. A section on him and alcohol would be, sort would be sorted. I asked if I could bring my friends, and so I did. Fast forward to, to the night, it was my first time meeting Newo, despite the fact that we interacted on Twitter and Instagram. I enjoyed myself and so did my friends, but throughout the night... Um, throughout the night, sorry guys, like a, there's a part that's missing, but then after that it goes, which I thought that's weird, but I understood that maybe elevators are packed. Walking down the staircase, he was very forceful. He groped my vagina, kisses on the neck and ass grabbing. I was so uncomfortable and asked that he'd stop. He didn't. He forced that I get intimate with him, asked that I take an Uber with him to his place and I refused. Eventually, people came down the stairs and saw us, and that was when he pulled away from me. I immediately walked away from him and searched for my friends. My first time at the club was traumatic, and have been, and I haven't been since. At the time, I don't think his actions could have been could be labeled as sexual assault, but from reading other people's stories, I realized that it is, and I was violated in ways I could not imagine. Um, thank you for creating this platform for mo for women to speak out. I have experienced a similar, a similar situation where um, I wasn't sure if I was assaulted sexually and I don't know it just took me a while to come to terms that I actually was and I think as women we let we let it go we let it slip like it's not a big deal um, you shouldn't make a fuss about it you know and it took me a while to speak out for some reason i was embarrassed and the only person that i've ever told this was my mother right and i'm just making this video to make women realize that if it makes you feel uncomfortable if it makes you feel i don't know less of of or if you feel forced then it is actually sexual assault Guys, I don't know what's happening with my tongue, sorry. But it is actually um, sexual assault. Asking you guys to share your experiences with me of um, sexual assault and the various ways in which it, it, it can occur. And I promise to share my story with you guys. And here goes. So I was in, I was in matric and uh, my mother and I had just moved from where we were living to my grandmother's house, right? So this other day... Um, I decided my mom was at a funeral not far from where we live. It's like um, two minute walking distance not very far um, So I decided uh, I think it was around like 1 in the afternoon. Okay, I'm just gonna go get 
a time babo okay shabo i go um just as i turn just as i turn the corner there's a family friend that approaches me he's drunk as hell guys like drunk but because he's a family like he greets me right and I think nothing of it. Like, I greet him back. He's a family friend. Um, my whole family knows him. So, yeah, family events, he's there all the time. So, yeah, I don't think anything of it. He, he comes. So, um, he greets me and he, and like, he walks up to me, right? I'm going, like, he's, I'm walking in his direction and he's coming this way, right? So, um, he stretches his hand for a hug. I was conflicted. As much as my whole family knows this man and yeah, he's a family friend. I've never never hugged him. And he's drunk. That's what's going through my head. He's drunk. But yeah, I don't want to be rude, you know. As Africans, like um we were told okay, so I thought to myself, what if like I'm rude to this guy and then he's gonna come to my house some other day. Like I just I just didn't want to be rude to him, you know. And I hug him against my like my gut feeling telling me not to. I hug him. Guys, this man he groped my ass. It's in the middle of the day. This man literally groped my ass and as much as I wanted to push him and like I just couldn't and the worst thing is that my mom was not even that far away you know and yeah I'm like everything in my head is telling me to push this way this man away from me but I don't know I was just I don't want I don't know if numb but I, I just felt powerless and I felt I don't know, I just felt like something was wrong with me, you know? And I'm grateful that it didn't get far, like that's, that's where it ended, but I felt violated and I dismissed it. I didn't feel like it was sexual assault because there was no penetration, you know? But it is the way in which he touched me and the way in which he talked to me that just messed up. It Like, it, it made me feel like I was wronged it made me feel like somebody um felt like they could do whatever it is that they wanted to do with my body and I just feel like I don't want women to dismiss these acts as ah, it was nothing um it wasn't that deep because it is if it makes you feel uncomfortable if it makes you I don't know if it makes you not okay then it is sexual assault and it is sexual har harassment and i feel like we should speak out more for ourselves and guys before i close i also want to read something else that um i read on twitter and it um, says the last time i ignored a man he threw a bottle at my head my male friends laughed about it and told me i should have kept a conversation going and gave him my number to avoid things like that so we are living in a society where we have to please men in order to be safe. That's appalling. And that says it all. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Things like these just get under my skin. And men think it's okay. And life goes on and nothing happens. Like, there are no repercussions whatsoever. And I don't know. It just pisses me off. Like, it's... It irks me, it gets under my skin. And then this one says, I remember walking home alone and this guy came up to me. I was so afraid I kept faking my laugh and had to give him my number when he asked for it. Saved it as don't answer. And another one says, I got sli I got sliced in, in the face for turning down a boy at 15 years old. I was scared for years, but now I finally feel free. guys at 15 years old I don't know how old the guy was
but he came up to a 15 year old and thought I have the right to your body I have the right to you I have the right to do and say whatever it is and you have to agree so I hold all the power and you're powerless and therefore you shall obey me so if if this are the thoughts of a young man I'm assuming it's a young man because he's coming up to a 15 year old if these are thoughts of a teenager what happens when this person is in his early 20s late 20s because this behavior does not start from out of nowhere you know what must be said to men and to young boys to make them to make them see that this is not okay to the young boy that is sitting on the street corner who whistles at every girl that walks by and think that is cool and you're doing it to fit in, it's not okay. It will never be okay. And that is what I'm talking about when I say that sexual assault occurs in many different ways. That whistle makes us feel uncomfortable. The comments that we have to listen to when we're walking past the street is horrendous. And... And I feel like it has to stop. I don't know what we have to say to our young men. I don't know what we have to do. But it has to stop. It has been going on for too long. So yeah guys, that was it for today's video. Um, please do interact with me on my socials. And let's keep the conversation going um, on sexual assault against women. And the various forms in which it occurs. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Until next time, love and light to everyone.